Hello and welcome back to Dunkirk and proper English tier 10 football. We are back at the end of autumn now in uh, in, in uh, our league and yeah, we have a couple of games today, both cup and league games and we are doing the first round of the FA Vals Cup, which is important for us. It is important that we get through and uh, go pretty far in this cup. Um, because of finances, of course, which are, yeah, it's not too good, is it? Uh, I think a big, a big, big uh, um, amount of cash goes to actually funding our staff, which are a bit expensive. We're uh, racking up around, um, yeah, 750 per week here. So that is a, uh, yeah, that is a big expense for the club. But we'll manage, we'll manage. And we have uh, loaned a new player as well. Uh, well, we might have a couple of players in since last time, actually. We have... Um, yeah, I haven't showed you these guys. We needed to sign a few players as well, uh, just to get some more people into the club. So, this is Jake Sedgmar. 44-year-old uh, midfielder, uh, I would say. We're playing him um, in the defensive midfield position and... Uh, yeah, we can utilize him in the central midfield as well. Uh, he's an oldie, uh, but I think he'll do a job for us. He's actually played pretty good already. A solid all-rounder. And uh, following that trend, Lee Clark, central midfielder, playmaker, slow as hell, but he is doing bits for us, actually. Three assists in three match matches, so that is nice. But a nine-year-old Northern Irish guy uh, with eight under 21 caps, so that is cool. Also, yeah. Physicals aren't uh, a, uh, a talking point in this league, apparently. And finally, uh, we just got this guy in, from New York Town in our same league, I think. Uh, Jamie Norman, a, um, on loan, a decent central defender, which is also needed in the team. So I'm starting to get satisfied with the team now. Um, we are actually going to offload a few players in the generate transfer window I think I think we can afford just having one keeper so uh, since we signed this guy last time uh, Aaron uh, yeah this guy with a nice uh, haircut <laughs> uh, I'm thinking the Jake Want is out of the club just to save some money here and there we need to start thinking about uh, our finances so but yeah our team is pretty good so today we are playing um, uh, we are playing Nidderland uh, R E M I C I, <laughs> uh, um, Remika. Uh, don't know what that stands for or if it's name, <laughs> but anyway, it is um, Liderland from Liverpool, and uh, yeah, so they are favorites for the match. Actually, they are favorites, but I think we'll do a job. So let's just get some more people on the bench here. Uh, I'm actually going to do a quick pick just to see what my assistant wants there. Yeah, but my assistant does some weird picks, so. He insists on playing this guy, our now fourth choice uh, center back. So yeah, he has got to go. Um, and he also insists on putting Jake Want on the bench, which we don't want. Let's, let's just sort uh, our subs a bit here. So there we go. So we have Conor Veal on loan. Uh, we might just give him back because it's not, it's not too good. Shane Hamilton might go actually. Uh, we'll see in the January transfer window. Um, Cedric Rostand, he's been playing okay, we haven't used him that much to be fair, so it's not him his fault. Um, I think the team is set now, we might just... Uh, yes, 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 so uh, Sedgemore uh, was injured for a game, that is why Hadlan is back in there. And other than that, I think we're good. Yeah, so tactics wise, we, uh, yeah, we started playing at a lower tempo and uh, that has been working well for us, so... Let's continue that and get into the game. So I haven't seen uh, in what uh, division uh, Liderland are playing, but I think they're a tier above us, so level 9. I could actually just ch check that now. Uh, Northwest Countries Premier Division, yeah, I think that's tier 9. That is correct, and they are mid-table. Yeah, they're their mid-table team. Okay, so we've been on a good run, so let's continue that. And let's go. 
we're playing away uh, as well. And yeah, it, this is the first time you're seeing our away kits, I guess. So um, they are quite nice. They are in uh, yellow and blue. Uh, I'm not sure if uh, Dunkirk's away uh, jerseys are uh, yellow in real life, but yeah, we're kind of going on the first uh, uh, yeah, on, on on the home jerseys there, and yeah, so the second and third uh, jerseys we're kind of making making them up ourselves, which I uh, enjoy doing, and of course making new kits each season is also a uh, cool thing to do. So we're gonna do that. First highlight, it's a long shot by... I thought we were on the defense there, of course, because we're playing in red <laughs> at home. But yeah, we're in yellow, so that was our chance, actually. We're going to go balanced for a bit, just to keep the tempo down. Was that a block? No, just a poor shot. Okay, so we really want to go far in this uh, cup, if we can, finance-wise. One thing I've... Uh, yeah, so our new keeper, um, he's been generally good. Oh, and it's a goal. Yeah, we're going to talk about it later. More for uh, Whirl, and Whirl slots a very uh, poor shot, really, but it gets in, into the back of the net, so I'm not complaining. Um, uh, poor defending there as well. Whirl close it right past Jones there. Actually under his arm it seems. So it's 1-0 Dunkirk. Yeah, so uh, our uh, keeper, uh, he's been playing okay, but um, he seems not to be able to handle the ball. <laughs> he just flops it around all the time and it has actually led to a couple of bad goals against uh, where he actually touches the ball and it just flops in, in behind him. Um, <laughs> yeah, so uh, he's been playing like 10 games for us, but I might just look for a different goalkeeper in the January transfer window. Uh, while I say that, we have another goal, 2-0, more in the back of the net with an assist from Jones. Uh, Jones has also been amazing this season, our 45-year-old uh, left winger. 2-0 before half time and Schöber is injured. Ah, that is too bad. But we can put... Um, I'm actually going to put Brendan Cowell there. He's learning the position. Yeah, so we might just uh, change up our uh, keep, keeper situation in the January transfer window. Uh, and we're 2-1 up. Okay, so there's a lot of goals before half time then. Let's keep it tight, guys. But uh, saying that... There aren't any real transfer windows here. Uh, I think we can do transfers all the way up to April or something, uh, free transfers. So uh, we might just be able to sign and get rid of players almost all the season. So we'll take a look at that later. But let's focus on the game. And 2-1 up is nice, but I would like a third goal. That would be nice, just for security reasons. So I'm going to get going to tell my guys to focus a bit more. <clears throat> Free kick from Whirl, just as I had a goal. Yeah, so I'm really getting into this this same now. Uh, I haven't been playing F FM for a while, uh, actually for uh, F uh, since the summer vacation probably. So it's really nice to get into a new club, uh, to experience a new league and stuff like that. I'm really enjoying this now. Um, we're going to have... Yeah, Hindley you can play there for now. And... Scott, you're off for Hamilton. Let's say one sub. Ooh, let's keep this uh, together, guys. I'm going to go positive, actually, just for a sec, just to put some more pressure on them. Mlaleki on the ball. Uh, World steals it back. White up to more. Yep. Yeah. Oh, great through Prasto Jones. The old guy. The old guy is on the run. 45 years old of uh, 45 years of experience, but uh, yeah, he just couldn't keep them uh, at bay. He's just a bit too old and too slow, I guess. Okay, so last sub. Um, let's do. Let's put Jamie Lecky back there, maybe. Have we done three subs? Yes, we have. Of course, Schöber was injured. Okay, we are. We have done all our subs. Ah, that's unfortunate. 
Uh, let's time waste then and go cautious. Oh, that's offside, but yeah, we get to, get to the ball first. Oh, dangerous pass to the keeper. That is surely offside. That is surely offside. It was way off. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no worries, guys. No worries. <laughs> He's like 15 meters uh, uh, offside there. Ooh, I don't like this amount of highlights in the, at the end of the game here. Ooh, they're having some good shots though. I'm gonna do something here. I'm gonna pull our defense back and... Uh, not press too much, yeah. Ooh, that created a chance. Oh, it's the top of the net. Tell them to focus again. Hope that uh, does the trick. Cowell picks up the ball to White. Worrell. Back to Cowell. Yeah, nice, nice guys. Just keep the ball. Just keep the ball. We are, we are having some good possession with this tactic, which is uh, yeah, which is essentially how I want, want to play this. So that is a good uh, result of our uh, changes. Oh, get a good chance! Great, great save by the keeper actually to get a hand hand on that. He had to stretch far. Gilliman, Gilliman, still a decent uh, signing. Great at uh, fullback, and uh, he has a couple of assists as well. Oh, he's just waste, wasting time now. Great stuff. One thing that would be cool to see in FM though is... Oh, oh, we won the game. Yes, yes. So one thing that would be cool to see in FM is people getting yellow cards and stuff for wasting time. I think that would be a great addition to the game. Um, because actually, sometimes uh, it seems they just waste have way too much time. So... In real life, they would be, be uh, yeah, they would get a card from the uh, referee. But anyway, we want to one away at at uh, Elite Liderland, a team uh, division above us. So I'm very satisfied with that. Um, oh, Schober is out for a while. Oh, I might just get a loan in. Yeah, good game by Moore again. Still 16 years old, right? Yeah. He's doing bits. Okay, so here is our... Yeah. So this actually gave us... Yeah, a grand or so. Okay, so next game. We're doing two games this episode. And it's Clifton All Whites. Uh, also away game. This is a league game. They are placed fifth. So they're... Yeah, they're not too far behind us. So this, is, this will be a good game, I think. Uh, so I'm going to skip ahead and get back for the Clifton game. Be right back. Small rotation to the squad here. Uh... uh Transfervice actually. We signed another central defender on loan and that guy is Travis James on loan from Afan Lido. That's Welsh, right? Yep. So he's really good because he's one of our now quicker uh, defenders, which is really good for the kind of slight pressing system we're playing. So he will, he'll come straight into the team. So uh, now we have Scott James and Jamie Norman, who will be our main three rotating defenders, which is great. That means I can get rid of some uh, wages here. And Shane Hamilton, he's on his way out. He's old, he's slow, he isn't that good. So he's, he actually has a bid for him already. So he's done a job for us, but uh, I'm glad we got some someone better in. And um, yeah, so that is it. We are playing uh, um, Clifton. Yeah, Clifton, all whites. Uh, yeah, so this is the team we're putting out there. It's almost the same team as last um, uh, as, as the cup game, but Sherbar is of course uh, injured, so Hindley will play on the right side there. He hasn't played there yet, but he is our mm, most proficient player for that side. Uh, Brendan Cow can do a job as well, so we might use him sometimes, but I choose Hindley for now. He has been playing okay. So. Um, yeah, Clifton are in fifth place, right behind us. So if we can do a 
good job today. That would be nice. Um, I'm gonna tell them to, that we are our favorites today. Yeah, because we are. Uh, even though we are uh, away from home. So let's just try to start attacking today. Just for a little while, while we, get, while we get the match up and running. We are playing in our usual red today. Okay, so more. Can we hit him on the counter? Ah, it seems we can. Sedgemore up there. The defensive midfielder back from injury. Ah, it's a poor effort, but it's an effort nonetheless. Let's go back to balanced. Just seeing as we are the away team today. So we are having a great time of uh, uh, having all the possession in the world. We have 64% possession. That is crazy. Uh, but that doesn't mean anything if you don't, don't create chances. So we've got to keep an eye on that as well. Uh, oh, great chance by uh, great shot by Jones, but straight at the keeper, unfortunately. So, uh, yeah, so we're creating around like four or five good chances uh, a game. Uh, maybe 10 to 15 shots. So I think that's a that's okay shots-wise, but we need to create more actual scoring chances. Uh, we've had uh, some high-scoring games for now and then, but I would like a bit more. So we'll see what we can do tactics-wise, or if it's just a form thing. Ooh, dangerous cross in. Uh, punched out. Back in, into Jones. Can he cross it? Yes, he can. Okay, let's move on. Let's try to get some good chances in. Uh, we've been pretty good uh, defensively, by the way. I haven't had too many goals against this season, so that is a uh, good side effect of this tactic. Uh, I, I tend to play uh, very pressing tactics, and that, of course, gets you a lot of goals, but uh, that goes both ways, actually. So uh, being a bit more defensive-minded is actually good, I think. Oh, that's, that's a good run by Jones, but he hoofs it over the bar. Ah. Okay, so I'm uh, liking the chances and the position we're having. Um, kind of controlling the game, so we need to be wary of those kinds of things. The, the, that almost turned into a counter-attack there. Let's see here. 33 uh, minutes in. Um, it really would be nice to see if Hindley can do a job. Uh, oh, that's a penalty. Ooh. More steps up. Oh, <laughs> that was a bad penalty. I think it went uh, in between the keeper's arms there. Uh, I was just about to say, Moore hasn't missed the penalty yet. But that was a bad penalty. Oh, <laughs> I think uh, penalty shootouts in the in the, um, these uh, um, tier ten uh, saves of England, the real lower league saves, they're just so uh, horrible to watch. It's just nerve wracking. But yeah, um, eleven shots and three on target, uh, twelve three actually before half time. That is okay, I guess. Nice amount of xG if you. Uh, if you uh, count that. So we had some good chances here. Uh, really like what I'm seeing from the team lately. So uh, if this keeps uh, as is, we are actually top of the league again. Um, where Ailson actually has a game in hand, but yeah, they can always, always lose that one. Let's go positive for a bit here and uh, do a sub right about now. Um, who's tired? No one really. Uh, Let's put Cowell out on the right side here because he needs to learn the position as well. So we have a few more in back up there. Uh, I'm going to change. No, I'm going to keep it as is for now. Let's just keep it as is. We might have some more flexibility later on. Oh, that's a bad tackle. Ooh, uh, Clifton on the counter here, maybe. Cantero. I almost uh, saw it as Cantona. Uh, oh, I thought that was a goal, but it, it was a sub, actually. Let's go back to the balance there. That worked well for us. Oh, that's a hard hitter straight at the crossbar. Great cross, though. I think that was um, Cowell. 
Okay, uh, Chris Scott, you're off for Norman just to get some fresh legs on. And actually, I'm going to put Gareth Duckett up front. Now, yep, yeah, Gareth Duckett, he also trains. Uh, he's training for the uh, forward position as well, because I think he can do a job there. Uh, or he has done some, done a job there. He has scored a, quite a lot of goals, actually, from uh, all the attacking positions. Okay, so 74 minutes in. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, so, uh, maybe with a... With a Slow tempo and short passing has really worked well for us. And there, there is again the well no uh, yeah the well used recipe, uh, which is a cross by Jones into more header straight into the back of the net. Uh, uh, that, that wasn't more, right? Ah, oh, yeah, it was more. Just uh, before he he got subbed off. Okay, so it's two 0 Dunkirk. Great, great stuff. Yep. Um, so I'm just going to go defensive now and uh, time waste. So I think this result is keeping uh, keeping itself. Ooh, might be a counterattack for Clifton here. Um, I do have a reputation for uh, <laughs> for um, not being able to uh, hold on to leads uh, in. Uh, uh, football manager though, so we need to be careful here. Uh, let's go focus. It's 2-1, that's not... Uh, if we can keep this, this is a good result. Yes, we can. Okay, so that was a bit of a scare, but that's nice, that's nice. That was a, w a good win. I agree. So let's see where that puts us. I think we are top of the league, actually. Which is fantastic. That makes us, puts us top of the league. Great stuff. So, I think that's halfway through the season. No, almost. Okay, so there's uh, 40 games. So 20. Two more and we're halfway through. Um, yeah. Yeah, so this is a credit to uh, how well we are playing defensively. Because uh, we have two keepers which now all, have almost played 50-50 of our games. Both of them are on the top three. Uh, clean sheets table, uh, five for want and four for uh, Aaron uh, in Buffton. Five in eight games and Buffton has four in ten games. Yeah, so that is a credit to our uh, our um, defensive work this year. Uh, yeah, 15 goals against, that's the least in the league, so really satisfied with that. Yeah. So we're just doing bits at the moment, and I'm really enjoying my time at there at Dunkirk. And we shall continue here at Dunkirk uh, later on. Um, I think uh, we're, we're going to skip ahead a bit. So uh, uh, again, I'm I'm a bit certain. Yeah, I'm fairly certain we're going to get through against Newton A Cliff as well. Uh, they're also a division above us, uh, but I think we can beat them in the FA Vars. So. I want to go ahead a bit now, so let's get to the end of December here. I think uh, actually the game against Born Town would, would be nice. So let's just do that so, because we need to do some progress in the in the um, in the uh, series as well. But yeah, so that is it. Uh, we will continue to monitor our squad, of course. Uh, coming towards January, I want to try the market for a different goalkeeper. Yes, done. Okay, but he has just flopped a lot of goals for us. So. Uh, if we, if we can do even better, I would be very satisfied. But let's let's uh, look at that in the next episode. Jones is forty six now; he's almost fifty years old. Uh, we gotta have him uh, back uh, as a staff later on. That would be really nice. But anyway, that's it for today. Uh, if you enjoyed the episode and uh, enjoy watching the series unfolding Dunkirk, please give me a follow uh, or a subscription. Um, I'm also going to take the save to Twitch in the future, just for some time here and there. Um, we might do the summer windows, actually, the the uh, the transfer window in the summer eh, live on Twitch. Um, so yeah, so that's it. Um, please put, put, put down any comments as well if you have any suggestions for a save or any comments for me. Thank you for joining us today, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.